Hey guys, welcome back to another Salmon Slayers TV episode. I'm Nick, and today we'll be going over how to tie hoochies for Winter Blackmouth and King Salmon. Hoochies. Hoochies have been around for a long time and they intimidate a candlefish or a squid. King salmon like to feed on those and they are intended to be used behind a flasher. So when you're towing your flasher through the water, your flasher is spinning and it's kicking the squid around behind it. If you troll a squid all on its own, you're probably not going to get any bites. And remember, the fat end of the flasher always faces back toward your hooks. Okay guys, to start out with, you want to gun it cut about 45 50 inches of line i've already done that any more your squid's probably not going to get much action behind the flasher and any less it might be too close to the flasher and those fish will be shy to bite and our thing here in the puget sound you're just going to want to pinch your barbs now so you don't forget to do it it's a big ticket if you don't and if you can see i threaded the line down through the eye i took five wraps and I'm feeding the long end of the tag in back through. I think there's not as called the uh, double snell. It's kind of like an egg loop. Then you're going to take five more wraps around that. One, two, three, four, five. Going to lubricate the knot part and pull that tag in all the way through. Being careful not to catch it on that little part that's hanging out. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll, so I don't hook myself, I'll hook it into the scissors and pull. There we go. First hook on. Cut the tag. Now once we're here, before I put the second hook on, I'll drop two small glow-in-the-dark beads down the line. This just helps as far as glow attraction down when it's 90, 100 foot plus feet deep. This fish needs something to key in on, so. I'll put two glow beads down. And this part's really important when you tie your second hook on. You tie them in opposing directions, so whether the fish bites, just depends what side. You want one hook f facing each way, so that way, you're more likely to get the hook up. So you can see this hook's already facing this way. So we'll tie this one like this. You can line it up with your squid. You can see right where you want them to be. Right about there looks good. So we'll tie this one in. One, two, three, four, five wraps. Long tag in back through the eye just like last time. Just like that. Two, three, four, five more wraps. Spin on the knot. Pull the tag in through. Hook it in with the scissors. Pull that tight. There you go, you got your opposing hooks. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to use a straw. Now people, some people like to use beads for this to space the hooks out in their squids so they're not their hooks aren't tucked up to the top like that. You can use beads or a more efficient, lighter way is you can just lay out a piece of straw. You can see just how much you need. If my bead's gonna be here in the head, I can cut off about a three quarter inch of straw. Slide that down the line. And all this is doing is just putting the hooks down toward the back of the skirt this is important so you don't miss any short strikes. Do that. This is just one of these little cheap mixture straws you can just grab from Starbucks or whatever. Then you're going to want to feed down your bead. I think it's just an, it's either 8 or 10 millimeters, just a clear bead. Act as a spacer. Feed that down the line. Time for the squid. Squid colors can just vary white. Base is always good color for kings. These were good, kind of like cookies and cream combo type deal. And these glow in the dark ones, these are all great colors right here. 
but we'll just tie this one up for now. So once you're here, you're gonna open the squid up, feed the line right down through the middle. If I can get these to get out of there we go. Just like that. And you're gonna wanna pull this down the line. Work the tentacles over the hooks. And then you're gonna wanna take the bead and push it up into the head of the squid. Act as a spacer and it'll give the squid a little more profile. So once you work that bead up inside of the squid, you're just gonna slide your spacer up and drop all this down by the hooks. There you go, it gives you a nice, nice squid to put behind a flasher. And once it's like this, when you coil it up and put it in a bag, from now on I'll always grab it by the line. I won't touch the squid anymore because salmon do not like human scent. So, so yeah guys, one of the other options you have instead of using a hoochie is you can use an ace high fly. It looks like this, it's just a different profile. It's really lightweight and it darts around a little more than just going in a straight circle. You tie them up the same way, they work really good. And then once those are done, I'll coil them up on my hand and I'll keep them stored in baggies like this in their own color. So then when I'm out in the boat, I can just pull one out and tie it on the flash. So if you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below what you think we should make our next video on. Any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're lining tight, you're not doing it right. <laughs>